So let me just uh, kind of gonna have to do a couple things, a little bit of a juggling act here. Okay. So this note here, okay, this is our fundamental note, our fu starting vibration. It could be any any vibration. Doesn't you know? I'm just using this as an example, and though you know it isn't related to a hundred cycles per second, I'm just using simple numbers. Uh, you know, as an example, just, you know, so you can hear what I'm talking about. Okay, there's our starting vibration. We're just pretending it's 100 cycles per second. Here's our first partial, or, or overtone. Okay, so now that becomes, you know, our starting vibration is 1, okay? Our octave, okay, is 8. Those are actually the two closest notes together in this chromatic scale, the 1 and the 8 are almost identical, okay? They're, they are one and the same. They're close together, okay? So here's the next overtone. This is the overtone at the third of a string. This is a half a string. This is the third of a string. That overtone, as we re reduce those overtones, to, uh, becomes the five of the scale. So I just want to give you a sense of how we get to a major scale five, okay? Here we are at the third partial. Five. Again, that's our little what we call the major triad. Okay, reducing a third, fourth, and fifth partial down, we get one, we get three, and we get five. Okay, the next note in that series, right there, it becomes our seven in the scale. And this is how we end up with the chromatic scale. We just keep, keep, you know, it's getting harder and harder to hear those higher overtones. But we keep reducing them until we get to the major scale.